a professor of food and human nutrition at Newcastle University here in the UK, recently made the claim that if everyone started the day with oatmeal, it would have a significant impact on public health, and that eating one bowl per day could transform the health of a nation. A bowl of oatmeal provides a wealth of minerals such as copper, manganese and iron, as well as B vitamins. However, the real benefit of oatmeal comes from the soluble fibre in the oats, called beta-glucan. Beta-glucan feeds the healthy bacteria in our gut, which in turn helps our immune system, lowers cholesterol and may even protect against cancer. There are two types of fibre, insoluble and soluble. Soluble fibres such as beta-glucan from cereals and pectin in fruit can form a thick gel paste in our gut which helps reduce the absorption of cholesterol, as well as boosting the excretion of bile salts. Studies have found that eating 3 grams of beta-glucan a day, which is roughly what you'd get in a 70 gram bowl of oats, can reduce your levels of harmful LDL cholesterol by around 7%. Quote, that's similar to the results you might get from taking a statin. And if everyone ate oatmeal, we would certainly significantly cut rates of heart disease and possibly also bowel cancer, says Dr George Grimble from University College London. Also, the beauty is, unlike a statin, oats have no side effects. A 14-year study from Harvard University that looked at the health of 100,000 people found that those who ate the most whole grains, such as oatmeal, seemed to be protected from many illnesses, including heart disease. Scientists found that for each ounce, 28 grams, of whole grains eaten a day, the risk of all death was reduced by 5%. One ounce is the equivalent of eating one small bowl of oatmeal. It's advised that we eat traditional oats as opposed to the instant oatmeal that you can buy in individual packets. This is because regular oats have a much lower glycemic index and so are released slowly into our bloodstream leading to a small release of insulin and avoiding spikes in blood sugar. Regular oats also contain more beta-glucan. Now let's hear from Dr Michael Greger as he shares how oatmeal may even be able to help fatty liver disease. Oats are reported to possess very drug-like activities like lowering blood cholesterol and blood sugar, boosting our immune system, anti-cancer, antioxidant, anti-atherosclerosis, in addition to being a topical anti-inflammatory, it may also be useful in controlling childhood asthma, body weight, etc. The evidence is clear that oatmeal consumers have lower rates of disease. But that's not the same as proving that if we start to eat more oatmeal, our risk will drop. To know that, we need an interventional trial, ideally a blinded study where you give half the people oatmeal and the other half fake placebo oatmeal that looks and tastes like oatmeal to see if it actually works. This has not been done until now. Double-blinded, randomized trial of overweight and obese men and women and almost 90% of the real oatmeal-treated subjects had reduced body weight compared to no weight loss in the control group, a slimmer waist on average, a 20-point drop in cholesterol, and an improvement in liver function. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, meaning a fatty liver caused by excess food rather than excess drink, is now the most common cause of liver disease in the United States and can lead in rare cases to cirrhosis of the liver, cancer of the liver, and death. Theoretically, whole grains could help prevent and treat fatty liver disease. A follow-up study in 2014 confirmed these findings of a protective role of whole grains, but refined grains were associated with increased risk. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.